welcome back everyone, I hope you're all doing really well. As I mentioned in a recent video, there's just a few more finishing touches I really wanted to add to the garden. One of these being some decorative nautical pilings. And after searching on the internet, I realised that you can't actually get anything like that here in the UK. There was plenty in America, but obviously something that can't really be shipped. So I decided to make my own and I thought I would film it just in case anyone else wanted to have a go for themselves. I did actually have a look for some scrap wood to begin with, but because of lockdown and everything, it was a bit hard to kind of source anything. So I ended up going onto a website called Edex and I purchased six lengths of 150 millimeter diameter non pointed poles, which I'll link below for you. They actually cut them to size for you, which is really helpful. So I'm just going to take you down the side of the house where I'm actually going to be working on the posts. So here are my wooden posts. I did purchase six posts altogether, and my plan was to make two sets of these nautical piling bundles, but in the end I decided to have three of them as separate pilings and then just put lanterns or something decorative on the top, which I'll show you later on in the video. But these three are going to be attached together with some rope. So first of all, I'm just going to be using a rasp and a sanding block just to soften this harsh edge on the top of the posts. After I've finished sanding them, I'm going to be staining them in this wood protective treatment in a light brown colour. After 24 hours, I'll be attaching the rope and then finally adding a few decorations. I'll give you a grand reveal at the end of the video. All the products I've used will be linked in the description box for you below. So I'll keep the camera on whilst I'm working on the posts and then once they're dry tomorrow, I'll make another video of the next part of the process. The next step will involve securing the rope around the posts and I'm also going to be whipping the ends of the rope. This is basically to stop the ends from fraying and it looks quite nice. When you're cutting your rope, just make sure you put some tape around it. I've been using some branch loppers and that works really well to cut the rope much easier than a knife. This is 20 millimeter manila rope and this is a natural fiber rope that's durable and also sunlight resistant and I got this from cheaprope.co.uk I'll link it below for you. So I'm going to be tying the rope around the posts and then securing it with some screws and I'm going to be using these 40 mm stainless steel screws. I'm not sure whether to wrap the rope around and have it loose like that or whether I secure it in these kind of divots with the screws. I'm not sure. I'll just have to wrap it around and see what it looks like. I also got some decorations to sit on the posts. I got a set of these lights from Amazon. These aren't waterproof by the way, so if it rains I'll have to put them away. And they are battery operated. I've got some brown fishing net, which I need to cut to size. And I got this guy from Amazon. <laughs> I think I might put him at the bottom. And for my other single posts, I 
I've got these solar lanterns from Lights for Fun. And I also bought a little concrete tiki head, which hasn't arrived yet, but once it arrives, I'll film it sat on top of the post so you can have a look. It's the same guy that made these concrete tiki heads over there. I'll link his details below. 